Alright, hey folks, this is Chris Lucas of the ProstonView.com, which is currently down due to lack of funds. I need $179, which I don't have. Anyway, um... I was looking up some stuff. I just kind of ran to this one curious thing because I'd gotten a... Because, you know, one thing I notice when I go out to some of these protests is these kids wearing these anonymous masks, these Guy Fawkes masks. You know, and, um... Guy Fawkes, you know, is someone who tried to blow up, um, the British Parliament, which was, at the time, Protestant. Guy Fawkes was a Catholic. And, you know, the thing that strikes me as odd is, you know... Why would this Guy Fox mask be used by some people that are fighting against the New World Order when Guy Fox himself worked as an agent for the Vatican, which does run the New World Order? Okay, so that, that always bothers me. Um, but anyway, as I was um, just doing some research, you know, and got into this debate, I ran into this... Um, I ran into this Reddit page where they were talking about um, this million masked march on the Capitol or whatever on the White House. I think it's on the Capitol. Um, and anyway, uh, like about in the middle of the article, I come across this person called the Ghost of Dusty, and he says. Um, and I guess there's this user called MBversive who used to uh, post on Reddit and they say look at his last activity before he committed suicide and this is the, one of the last things this guy said before he committed suicide and um, you know, I like the fact that they put it in quotations because I I question, you know, whether this guy really committed suicide. Um, anyone who does something, you know, speaks real legitly, I always question if they really committed suicide. Um, but anyway, he says, Anonymous is a police military intelligence operation designed to attract hacktivists and incriminate them by association. It is composed of two parts. The attracting part, which on the surface appears to assist the cause of truth by releasing hidden information, and the incriminating part, which appears to attack police, military, or government organizations. However, when they release information, they are only releasing what the powers that be want released, and when they attack, they do so only for appearances. This is, I totally agree with this. Um, consider the Guy Fox mask, a symbol of explosive violence. Consider the massive corporate funding behind making it a recognizable image. Consider their catchphrase, we are legion, which is straight out of the Bible from the mouths of demons. Um, and for people who are unaware of this, I think, I, if I'm remembering right, I think it's in Matthew. It's either in Mark or Matthew. I think it's in Matthew. Um, where uh, G Jesus meets this um, guy who's possessed, and um, this guy says, you know, uh, we are legion. And, so, and I guess that's because this guy had like a thousand demons in him. Um... So, yeah, I always kind of thought that was kind of odd when they said we are legion. Um, anyway, he goes on to say, Consider the so-called leaderless nature, which allows for anyone to claim to be part of the group. Consider the escalation of targets. First it was Scientology, which attracted many. And then recently, it's, it is police departments worldwide. Also, are they planning to take down the internet? Is this what free speech oriented organization is this what a free speech oriented organization would do? It's widely known that voting on Reddit is manipulated by the powers that be. So if you want the truth on Anonymous, 
look no further than the most downvoted post in the threads ab about them. So you know what I'm saying is it's like, if you want to know about the truth, don't look at who gets all the thumbs up. Because, you know, people can manipulate that. They can send bots. They can have uh, groups of people work to thumbs up their con their posts and things and thumbs down other people. And, I mean, believe me, if there's someone wanting to control the information that you get a hold of and they want to control the good and the bad information and they want to make sure you get most of the bad information, most of the information with some disinfo in it, then what they're going to do is anyone that's talking legit, they're going to thumbs down their comments and make sure they're buried at the bottom somewhere and then uh, thumb up all the um, the comments that aren't legit. Um, anyway, this person said this user was a moderator here. Um, and anyway, when you go to this page, I guess, like, uh, this is, uh, Ambi versus ex-girlfriend. She goes on to talk about how he took his own life on February 10th, 2012. Um, but she said he broke up with her two weeks ago via email and never saw him again. So, two weeks before he died, he broke up with her, and she never saw him again. So, I mean, who knows what was going on with the two weeks. I mean, did this guy really kill himself? Granted, she says he had bipolar, a bipolar disorder, but I don't know if that's enough to really make someone kill themselves. I mean, I know some people who have it have killed herself, but, um, it's, but, I mean, when you read this guy's, um, I'm going to go to, because you can see on Reddit, and here's Ambiversive's page, right, and it's like, look at the last things he was talking about. Um, he was, the last thing he was talking about was attempting to voice the truth about Anon in this thread. Any help keeping the comment above water would be appreciated. Um, Anonymous says it will leak a giant catch of Iraq war emails. And, as, and here you see him saying, you know, Anonymous is a police military intelligence operation. Um, it just kind of seems that think that's uh, I'm not sure how many people really I'm I'm not real I haven't really looked into this guy I just kind of you know thought it was kind of odd and just thought I'd bring it to people's attention maybe I go and look more into this guy and I'm like okay you know he was full of crap about a lot of other things or maybe he's off on this you know on you know maybe if I read more about what he says about this, maybe he says some wrong things that I disagree with, um, but so far, you know, I agree with everything I've seen that he said, um, but I haven't read that much, um, but I just kind of thought that was odd that the last, you know, because I think, I think Anonymous is definitely controlled opposition, um, you know, just for the guy Fox Mask alone. Um, there's a few other things about it, you know, um, that I'm not going to get into. It's pretty late. I'm just making a quick video and going to sleep. But um, there, there's a few other things about Anonymous, which leads me to believe that they're definitely a controlled opposition organization. Um, and I... And, so I think it's kind of really interesting that that's the last thing this guy was talking about on Reddit. And then he goes and commits suicide. Um, anyway, that's all. I and mean, I'm just bringing attention. I'm not saying it means anything. Maybe, you know, this guy really did commit suicide. Maybe he didn't. And I don't know. I'm just even bringing, just bringing this to people's attention. Because I, 
I know nothing about it, to be honest. No, I know nothing about this guy, and just, just something I thought was odd. Anyway, later.